Hi everyone and welcome to today's Busy Bodies workout. Today we're doing a quick eight minute strength workout. We're gonna do three traditional strength exercises, but we're gonna add a slightly dynamic element to them. So there's gonna be a twist, okay? I'm gonna use a small hand weight, so you have something available, ideally a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a hand weight. If you haven't got that, you could perhaps use a yoga block or a full bottle of water. Just something that you can, can use as an object to add a tiny bit of resistance. So the first exercise we're gonna do I'm holding the hand weight in between both hands, so in both hands, and I'm holding it to my chest with my elbows in, my feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm going to do two movements. The first one is with my knees soft, I'm going to brace my core, and I'm going to push my butt behind me into a hinge. I work in the hamstrings. As I come up from the hinge, I'm going to press towards the ceiling, not directly overhead, but at an angle towards the ceiling, back, and then go again, okay? We're going to do that 10 times, all right? So nice and light, start with the feet shoulder width apart. Okay, completely parallel, nice soft knees. Brace your core, hold the object to your chest. And now keeping your core braced, just keep the knees slightly bent and push your hips behind you into a hinge. Only go as far as you can with a flat back and then up and press. One, back to the chest. Let's go again, push and up. Two, push and up. Three, keep going. Four, you should feel a slight stretch in the hamstrings as you push your hips behind you. Five, six, seven. We're gonna try and hit every muscle group today, every movement pattern. Eight, two more in three exercises. Nine, and last one, 10, perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a squat. I'm gonna take a slightly wider stance than a usual squat. My toes are pointing out, okay? So a bit wider than shoulder width apart. And now I'm gonna hold the object in one hand and my other hand is out to the side. And what I'm gonna try and do is squat down and tap the floor with the object without losing balance, trying to stay symmetrical, okay? We're gonna do 10 reps, so it's gonna look like this. You're gonna come down and tap, up, and then you're gonna switch hands and do the same thing. We're gonna do 10, so five on each side. Okay, so feet wide, knees soft. Again, brace the core, hold the weight in your right hand in the middle, left hand out and squat, keep your chest up, tap the floor, up and switch. Two, three, good, keep the core working. Four, five, push the knees out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Really good, okay, rest. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do, we're just gonna do five push-ups, but we're gonna add a down dog to the movement. So it looks like this. I always recommend doing the push-up on your knees so you can really focus on the form. So you're gonna get into a kind of plank position with your hands underneath your shoulders, okay? Knees and feet shoulder width apart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a push-up slowly to the floor. And then when I come up from the push-up, I'm gonna lift my knees and I'm gonna lift my hips into a down dog. And then I'm gonna come back and go again. Okay, so five repetitions, slow push up, all the way up, lift the knees, down dog, back onto the knees, five repetitions. Okay, so let's get ready, hands under your shoulders, okay, brace your core, elbows behind you at a 45 degree angle, slowly, up, and down dog. If you can't do the push up, just do the down dog, okay? Hold a plank, and then when we come up, down dog, okay, three more. Okay, last two reps. And one more. Down dog. And rest, okay. Up, okay, just give me 30 seconds of recovery. Just bouncing on the spot, we're gonna do two more rounds. Okay, so that more or less covers the main movement patterns. You have a hinge for your, for your glutes, your hamstrings, your lower back. You've got a squat for your, for your quads. Okay, your lower body strength, and then we've got a push up. Okay, so that's your upper body push strength. Okay, and the core should be working the whole way through. Three, two, one, perfect. All right, two more rounds. Okay, if you have access to heavier weights and you want to make it harder, feel free to go for it. Feet shoulder width apart, parallel, knees soft, hold the weight to your chest, push your hips behind you, and up one. Let's go, 10 reps. Two, three, okay? Hold that tension in the core. 
four, make sure you feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstrings as you go. Five, don't bend your knees too much. Six, this is a hinge, not a squat. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. Okay, straight to that wide stance. Okay, so unlike the, the first exercise, our feet here, now our feet are wide, toes pointing outwards. Brace the core, weight in one hand, and we're squatting. One, switch sides. Two, okay, we're going for 10 reps. Three, four, okay, slowly down. Five, keep the core working. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. Okay, weight down. Back into that kneeling plank position. Okay, hands under your shoulders, knees on the floor, and brace the core slowly down, up, and into that down dog. That's one. We're doing five reps. Two. Okay, if you run out of push ups, just do the down dog. Three. And feel free to throw an extra repetition on. Four. One more. Five and rest. All right, 30 seconds recovery. Okay, remember the purpose of this is just to go over the movement patterns. This is aimed at people who are busy. We're maybe getting some time to walk in, walk during the day, but other than that, we're seated, we're working at a computer, on a screen. So we wanna make sure the whole day doesn't go by without using the body. And the best way to use the body is to go over all the different movement patterns because that's how you hit all the different muscle groups. Okay, obviously you can add heavier weights to this. You can do more rounds if you want to turn it into a more of a kind of long, high intensity workout. But the idea of this is just to activate and get the bare minimum. Three, two, one, rest. All right, here we go. Last round, okay? Feet parallel. Knees soft, weight to the chest, brace the core and push the butt behind you, keeping a nice neutral spine, up and push. One, that's one movement. Okay, explosive. Two, three, four, keep going. Five, six, keep it stuck to your chest on the way, and then seven, pop it out. Eight, Nine, ten, amazing. All right, here we go. Feet wider than shoulder width apart, knees soft. Right hand, squat and tap, up and switch. One, two, okay, slightly different movement pattern now. Three, pushing the knees out. Four, lowering the hips. Five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10, amazing, okay, give the lower body a rest. Let's finish with five good push-ups, down dog on each one. Okay, on your knees, shoulders over your hands, brace the core, slowly down, up, and hips in the air. One. Two, okay, so a little bit of mobility thrown in at the end of this one. Three, two more. Four, last one, five, amazing. All right, jumping on the spot. So that was 10 hinges to a press, sorry, 30 in total, 30 squats in total, and 15 push-ups. okay? So good amount of repetitions, just to at least maintain strength, maintain the ability to perform these movements, okay? Try and make sure you're walking every day to complement the strength training and try and stay consistent with it, okay? That's the most important thing when it comes to strength training and seeing results is consistently doing it every day, okay? Cool down, three, two, one, and rest, okay? Good work today, and I will see you tomorrow for another workout.